Hi folks, this is Checkpoint Quiz 6.5. We're given the temperature, T, in degrees Fahrenheit, of a roast beast, T minutes after it's removed from the oven, is given by this equation. So in Part A, we're asked to find and interpret T of 0. Okay, so the find part, T of 0, means everywhere we see a little t in the formula, we replace it with 0. So it's 70 plus 100 e to the negative 0 0.01 times 0, which is 70 plus 100 e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1, so I get 170. So that's the find part. What's the interpret part? Well, I'm plugging in little t is 0. And what's little t represent? That's the minutes after it's removed from the oven. So that means that when it's removed from the oven, the roast beast is What's big T represent? Big T represents the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit of the roast beef. So the roast beast is 170 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, in part B, we're asked to find when the temperature of the roast beast is cooler than 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature is given by this function. So we're trying to find when this is less than or equal to 80. So we substitute in the formula for big T of little t. This is a nonlinear inequality. So the way we'll solve it is subtract the 80 over. And make a sine diagram. So I'm going to call this part the f of t. And what we need to do is look for the domain and the zeros. Okay, so the domain, there's no problems. There's no denominators. There's no even indexed radicals like square roots or fourth roots. And there's no logarithms. So then we just have to focus on finding the zeros. So I set f of t equal to 0. And so I've got 100 e to the minus 0 0.01 t. Minus 10 equals 0. I add 10 to both sides. Isolate the exponential, divide by 100. Take the natural log of both sides. The natural log and the exponential function base e are inverses, so the left hand side just collapses to 0.01t. On the right-hand side, we have the natural log of 1 tenth. Divide both sides by negative 0 0.01. And simplify. Dividing by negative 0 0.01 is the same as multiplying by negative 100. And I can rewrite 1 tenth as 10 to the minus 1 and bring that down. And so I get t is 100 natural log of 10. And so that's my critical value. So now it's time to actually construct the sine diagram. Okay, so here was the inequality. I'm calling that thing f of t. 
The only zero we found was 100 natural log of 10. So we go off to make our sine diagram. And even the domain, even though the domain of this function is all real numbers, we have to keep in mind the applied domain of the problem. T is only bigger than or equal to zero to begin with. So we'll put T equals zero here. And uh, at zero, um, it is defined, so I don't need to, to worry about that. And now I look at 100 natural log of 10. And so you may ask, how do we know this is a positive number, that it's going to actually end up over here? And the answer is, um, the natural log of x is an increasing function. It crosses the x-axis when x equals 1. So actually, this 0 here, if I wanted to, to rewrite it, this is the natural log of 1. Okay, so that's well beyond that. Now I need to pick some test values in here. And once again, we want to try to think of values that are going to be convenient to plug into this formula. And we've got this negative 0.01, so that's a negative 1 over 100. So we're going to pick 100 natural log of 9 and 100 natural log of 11. Okay. <clears throat> So I plug that into my function. And I get 100 e to the negative 0 0.01 times 100 natural log of 9 minus 10. And let's see what I get. I multiply this through and I get 100 e to the negative natural log of 9 minus 10. To use the inverse property of e in the natural log, I need to rewrite this as an exponent. So it's 100 e to the natural log of 1 ninth minus 10. Using the inverse property, I get 100 times 1 ninth minus 10. So 100 ninths uh, minus 10 is going to be a positive number. Now let's plug in 100 natural log of 11. These uh, cancel the same way they did before. I'd have to bring the negative up on the 11. So this is going to give me e to the natural log of 1 over 11. Minus 10. These cancel out to give me 100 times 1 over 11 minus 10. And that's going <clears> to <throat> be um, 111 minus 110 elevenths, and so that's going to give me a negative. And so I can get my final answer. We'll sneak it in up here. Where is this less than or equal to zero? It's equal to zero here, and it's uh, negative from here on out. And so the answer would be 100 natural log of 10 off to infinity. Now, if you wanted to get a, a more realistic uh, number out of that, in terms of time, you could use your calculator to approximate this. And I believe you get roughly 230 yeah, 230.25 minutes. So basically it's, it's cooler than 80 degrees Fahrenheit after uh, 230 minutes. So it's nearly two hours for this roast beast to cool down um, to a temperature under than 80 degrees. So that'll do it then for part B.